Okie dokie. Hi everyone. How you doing? It has been a while since I have put anything onto YouTube, but today I'm going to change that. So this video is um, about um, the joy of code. Well, it's not about the joy of code. It's a, a solution to a video the joy of code did the other day. So um, if you're in Svelte and you use YouTube to get up to date content, you um, will probably have seen videos from Matty here. So this most recent video from Matia is uh, configuring Svelte Kit with uh, Tailwind CSS. So this is a great video on how to um, do it all manually and get up and running with Svelte Kit. Um, if you've seen videos from me in the past, I did a Svelte Kit crash course back in October. Um, seriously, if you want to do a Svelte Kit crash course, don't watch that because nearly everything in it is irrelevant now. Uh, but the one thing which isn't is getting set up with Tailwind. So in there, there's a section to use Svelte Add um, and you can use Svelte Add to add many things to your Svelte project. And down here, there's an option for Tailwind CSS. And that's what I'm gonna be looking at in this video here. So uh, Jacob has also added in some additional options for Daisy UI. Typography was an option that was in it um, when I used it last, um, but this Daisy UI option is new. So let's stop talking and um, open up a terminal and move it to the right monitor. <laughs> and uh, bump up this font size. Okay, so I want to uh, PM, PM, create a new Svelkit project. And I'll just have this delete this project just for testing out things in Svelkit. Um, call your folder what you like. Um, this is just what I'm using. So this is gonna spin up the uh, CLI for Svelkit and same directory is not empty. Um, it's probably because I haven't deleted it. So uh, delete this and let's try that again. Okay, so I want to use the skeleton project. I'm going to use uh, JavaScript with JS dot comments and yes to all the things. So now next steps, uh, delete this. I'm going to change directory into that. Um, I'm going to pnpm install my dependencies, but I'm also going to uh, copy that. So let's install these dependencies. You might have seen I'm using a shorthand here. Um, I've got a uh, ZSH like text expander in my dot files. So if you want to go to my GitHub and check that out, just search for dot files under Spence S10. So let's install these dependencies. And for some reason that took a really long time, but I'm not going to edit the video. This is going straight up to YouTube. So um, <laughs> now those dependencies are installed. Let's just go, um, let's add our git command. So I'm just initializing a git repo, adding everything that's in there to that. And let's open up VS Code now. And um, do I need to bump up this font size? We are good. I think we can. I think we can all see that. Okay. So, standard uh, Svelte project. The only reason why I um, committed it to Git is just so we can see the changes which Svelte Add makes. So, let's go over to Svelte Add. I'm going to copy this over to my terminal. Um, but before I do that, did I install? I did install dependencies. So let's just run the dev server and check out that on localhost. I'm not sure if you can hear my cat. He's having a bit of a mad uh, half hour. Um, so we've got the um, skeleton Svelkit project done. Let's just move these about here. Let's put that down here. <clears throat> Let's put this over here. All right, so running this on localhost. Make that a bit more presentable. So now, uh, I'm going to want to MPX because I don't think um, PMPM create works. And then I've already got this in my history where I've obviously done it before practicing for this video. Um, so 
we want to let's make this a bit bigger um it's felt add uh, at latest tell in css and then passing in the flags for topography and daisy ui so let's hit enter on that and that'll configure it um but it won't install the dependencies so if i go over to what is this can't resolve daisy ui get out of here right um if i go over to git now you can see all the files that have been added by the mpx script well we are taking a look at that. I'm going to install those dependencies um, and let that do what it's doing. So <clears throat> you notice this has got post CSS. Let's make this a bit bigger actually. Um, I just want to use uh, just, just a normal CSS file. So I'm going to rename this to CSS. And you also notice that a layout file has been added. This is importing the post CSS file. I just, oops, I just want CSS. Let's change that. And no, I'm not interested in that VS Code. Thank you. So let's take a look at what else we got. We got a Tailwind config file um, where it's adding in our plugins for Daisy UI and the typography plugin. Uh, the typography plugin comes in first before Daisy UI. Um, Svelte config, what happened? Oh, we've got the pre process added in by the npx command. Uh, we've got a post CSS file. I've never touched one of these. Um, when working with Tailwind and um, Svelte, it's just there. Just know that it's there. <laughs> um, had some additional dependencies added here. And the CSS file. So um, you can see this is screaming at me at the moment. Um, that's because uh, these Tailwind directives... I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear my cat, but he's, he's literally galloping up and down the hallway. Um, so these tailwind directives aren't um, valid CSS. So in a VS Code settings files, um, and it's a JSON file, it's going to make this for VS Code. And this is CSS validate. I'm just going to put it to false for now. Save that, close that file, and the linter isn't screaming at me anymore for that. Let's move this back over here and run the dev server again. And you'll see that um, the default style for um, Daisy UI is being applied here. Sorry, the default theme for Daisy UI. Um, <clears throat> I've got a, uh, let's make this a bit bigger actually. So over on GitHub, I have a, theme switch example with Svelte kit, which will just, you know, help you, well, it, it just allows you to, to choose the theme. So it's, you know, you can cycle through all these, you get like 29 themes with uh, Daisy UI. So Puya, great job on all the theming. Um, if you want to check out how to do that, you can just check out this repo, uh, Svelte kit theme switch example. If you don't want to have any of the themes of Daisy UI, you can restrict them. Uh, the documentation is fantastic over on Daisy UI. <clears throat> you can check that out here. Um, but this is really about using um, Tailwind with SvelteKit. So stop rambling, Scott. Let's just move this back over here. Um, so what we could do is in our layout file here, we could wrap the slots with uh, a main tag, let's say, move that up here. And um, add a class in for uh, pros, which is the typography plugin. Uh, and you'll see that that is just instantly um, formatted, given everything the, the right um, padding uh, margin, let's say, on uh, the H1 and on the paragraph here. So, and I could also put in pros XL. Let's just uh, rather than try to use the Tailwind IntelliSense. Yeah, we could do that. So it just makes it a bit bigger. Um, obviously, if you don't want to have those styles um, cascaded throughout the whole project, then you could just use it sparingly throughout your uh, your pages, let's say. So say in our page here, let's close this side panel. Um, we have a div with um, h2 because semantically i shouldn't put a h1 uh, uh, and let's just try to um, randomly type out some stuff 
<clears throat> I don't think I've got a lorem ipsum. Lorem? Oh, I do. Okay, there we go. Cool. So in this uh, div section here, I could put in the pros. Oh, and um, and separate it out that way. Um, and then apply stars directly to this uh, top section here. So this would be a uh, text, 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 uh, Excel. Four Excel, no, five Excel. There we go. And uh, on bold, I guess. Uh, yeah, sweet. And then we could do some other stuff in here. Uh, what do we do? Margin bottom 40. Oh, that is a value. Great. Sweet. So we can save that and then, you know, fiddle about of it as we wanted to. Um, so you can just put in your, uh, pardon me, svelte, not your svelte, your <laughs> tailwind classes as you see fit, you know. The pros tool is great. Um, and there's also, um, so if we put in a button here and uh, some button text, um, button, we don't seem to have that on our page. Why? Oh, some button text, we do. Okay, so it's totally unformatted at the moment. With a Daisy Y, you get some really nice button classes. There we go. Yeah. So Daisy Y is great. Uh, it, this just helps me just scaffold out projects a lot faster than I would do if I was just handcrafting the CSS. Um, this is why everyone's interested in Tailwind because the utility classes just abstract away a lot of the um, stuff you'd need to do with uh, CSS normally. Cool. So I think that's it. You can, you know, get set up with Tailwind CSS um, and, you know, a couple of plugins to get you moving along really quickly with um, Tailwind CSS in your Svelkit project. But that's it. Hope you found it useful. See you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.